when was the information relayed for reinforcement? Did they get to the scene at the time when the altercation, the brawl was going on for them to be able to defuse it and arrest these people? Yeah, I mean, based on the video, the, the statement is a bit questionable. <laughs> it's questionable because everything suggests <laughs> that, you know, there was no point the guy that was being held to the ground, the police officer that was being held to the ground could make a phone call. Mm -hmm. And everything also suggests that his colleagues actually were walking away. And so, if, if they were concerned about it, the yes. they would have come in to help was exactly. one place exactly. the, the distress call. Exactly. So at what point was the call made and was made by who? Mm. And what was the response time? Mm. It's very important for us to know even the response time of because I'm I'm thinking that those who did arrest were not these guys on the crime scene. No, because no, no, no. their body language doesn't suggest that they were in the mood to arrest anybody. Okay. What they were they were in the mood to do was just to take away the gun and which which they did. So it's it makes that part of the of the statement a bit questionable that's why i'm saying that based on this statement you know the police investigation has to be far reaching enough it it, it doesn't have to be just two these uh, just two guys you know these police officers that have been interdicted for me the real elephant in the room should be the guy that was being held you know to the to the floor on mm, the ground because ground. for him his actions and based on the information that we have Suggest that there is a, a a repeat offender when it comes to this kind of crime as a police officer, and ha I think that that is that is where we have to look at. I have in my possession two what do you call it statements. Yeah. The one on the Axim one and this very one, mm. and because the matter is in court, I don't want to say something to get myself into trouble. But what do you make generally of police statements? You know when incidents happen, oftentimes police are quick to you know bring out statements. Yes. You have you have agreed with me, especially with the, the, the paragraph four that. It's not, it doesn't yes. sit too well. Too, yeah. What do you make of police statements when incidents like this happen and they, they issue them? Well, <laughs> I think that, you know, maybe based on what we have now, based on, uh, you know, the new policing administration that we have, we are trying to create a certain image of the police that uh, is different from what we, we, we are known to over the period. Mm. So you see that they are streamlining the communication in terms of how information even flow. Mm. And sometimes, in our quest to, you know, make things look good, people who are very critical of things can raise issues about it because in our quest to make things look good, we might at the end create a lot of, you know, you know. It's a piece of Yes, yeah, we might, we might at the end create a lot of suspicions. Uh, yeah. So for me, I'm thinking that the police but have forgive to... Forgive me, let me, let me put the question yeah. so I'm not going to necessarily pick something from the statement anymore. Mm. But do you, th do you have a feeling that in some of the statements released by police, yes. they try to protect the image of the police in a way? They don't tell the truth? Yes, I mean, as I said, some of the issues in the statement that, that they release mm -hmm. over the period mm -hmm. raises a lot of questions. Questions, okay. For instance, if you remember, just a few months ago, there was an incident at, in the mall, I think one of the malls in Accra, where somebody died because... The police tried to effect some arrest, and we were told that the, the person swallowed. Yeah, we so drugs. Yeah, you know, and the, if you look at the statement that was released and the content, it raises issue. It's like the police were just trying to whitewash themselves and make themselves look good. For me, I don't have a problem if the police have to look good because I'm of the view that as a moral institution like the police service, we have to make sure that. We, we build our institution through lies, through lies. Yeah, I mean, not through lies. lies, definitely not true lies. But that's that's what some of the statements were exactly, put. exactly. So that is what we have to look at. Mm. That probably in our quest to make things look good, mm. we overdo things that even creates more suspicion for the institution. That that another 